people keep asking me, how do you do so many things at the same time? How do you manage to study, work, uh, volunteer, create content, and learn nine different languages at the same time? So today I'm here to share with you guys my top secret and how I managed to learn nine different languages while being super busy and super active. If you watch some of the interviews of the most successful entrepreneurs or CEOs, they usually have one thing in common. They all wake up early and they all start their day pretty early. They wake up, they have their own morning routine, they eat something healthy or they do sport and then they start off their day. So what we learn from their lives is that they do something differently than most of the people. Unfortunately, these days, most of the um, teenagers or adults, they tend to sleep late and wake up late. If you want to be successful, if you want to change your life, if you want to live your life to the fullest, if you want to make the best out of your time, out of your youth, and you want to make a huge difference in your life, in my opinion, you have to start off your day in the best way possible. Success comes with small little things that you do on a daily basis. And success comes with how you make the best out of your daily life. How can you make the best out of your day? It's by waking up early. When you wake up early, you have more energy. When you see the sun, when you see the morning, when you hear the birds, that all gives you positive energy. When you wake up early, you have more energy. You have more time to do what's good for you and what you are passionate about. We are all gifted with 24 hours every single day. But what makes someone successful, what makes someone do so many great things and the other not, is how they use these 24 hours. Since we do not have much time during the day and since we are all busy with school, with work, we are just so overwhelmed. We do not have enough time to do what we are passionate about. For me, it was languages. For you, it might be something else. What will help you do what you like and get ahead of 99% of the population of the world? It's nothing but having a great time management, which for me, and for most people, it's by waking up early. When you wake up early, you have up to three hours or four hours more than other people. But waking up early doesn't mean that you have to sleep less. Mm -mm. Let us think a bit. Um, from nine or 10 till 12, what do you do? Usually this time is the most unproductive time of my day. Like, between 9 till 12, I do nothing. I just lay on my bed and scroll on TikTok or watch series or watch YouTube. That's all we do after dinner, especially, right? So instead of wasting your time at that time, you can sleep earlier. You can sleep at 10 and wake up at 4 or wake up at 5. You will still have a good sleep and wake up earlier to be more productive and to do something more useful. And if you have the chance, you can also sleep during the day. Why not? That's actually really healthy. That's what I do. I usually sleep during the day. So let's get back to the title of this video. How waking up at 4 a.m. helped me learn nine different languages. To be honest, it's not 4 a.m. It's actually 3 a.m. But I thought maybe if I write 3, that will sound unrealistic or you guys will think that I wrote it so that it's clickbait. Um, so yeah, but it's actually 3 a.m. <laughs> Crazy, right? So it all started back when I was 12. I was studying French, Arabic, and English at the same time. I was young, I was super busy with my school works. So when I was 12, I was like, I cannot do all this at the same time. And I want to be a polyglot, but I don't have the time and the energy. So that was the time that I was like, I'm going to wake up early because I need more time during the day. Otherwise, I cannot go to language school and learn all these languages. So from the age of 12 up to now, 
up to today, even today I woke up at 3. I um, kept this habit of waking up early. Of course, during the holidays, vacations, no, it was not every day. But yeah, most of the time when I had to study a lot, I used to wake up early because I was studying so many different languages at the same time. I used to go to school from uh, 8 till uh, 2 and then I had to go to Spanish and French class in the evening and then some days during the weekend I had to go to Arabic and uh, French class. So I didn't have much time to uh, do my schoolwork. So that's why I had to wake up pretty early uh, to be able to handle my school projects. Now that I already graduated, I cannot sleep. Uh, I cannot oversleep and I have to wake up early because that became my habit. And right now I cannot study at night or in the afternoon. I have to study in the morning. I woke up at 3 and I studied from 3 till 6. I finished what I wanted to study and then I slept from 6 to 8 and then I woke up. And what I like about it is that when I woke up at 8, I had the whole day for myself. I didn't have to study anything because I have already studied what I had to study for that day. And as you can see right now, I'm filming my uh, YouTube video and later on I'm going out with my sister. It's her graduation. And then I'm going to the gym at night and then I have to work uh, later today because as you guys know, I also work. So as you can see, I have the whole day to myself. Well, yesterday I slept at 11, so from 11 to 3 I had 4 hours of sleep and then from 6 to 8 I had 2 hours so it was in total uh, 6 hours of sleep which is enough for an adult. Uh, maybe if I'm tired I can even sleep during the day after my lunch I can have a small nap of I don't know 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm not saying that this is healthy, totally healthy or right, no. That's just what works for me. I'm not trying to uh, promote toxic productivity, but that's how I was able to study nine languages and have a normal life. Uh, and I believe that if you want to be successful, you have to do something differently from other people, and you have to uh, and you have to suffer a bit, let's say. So uh, here are four reasons why I prefer to wake up at four or three a.m. reason is obvious I feel more fresh and I feel I have more energy and I feel like at that time of the day I can learn better because I think that at that time of the day I can focus better which this point takes us to our second point and that's focusing well when I study in the morning I have less things distracting me for example uh, my friends are all obviously sleeping so there is no one texting me calling me or I, I don't get any notifications or my family they're all sleeping no one is coming to my room no one, no one is watching TV <laughs> so obviously um, I feel less distracted and another thing that uh, I'm really <laughs> not proud about is that the less time I have, the more productive I become. So when I know that I woke up to study and I only have three hours from three to six, I only have these three hours to study, I work more productively. Then when I say that, oh, I woke up today at nine and I have the whole day to myself to study, I will procrastinate, I won't uh, take it seriously, I will play with my phone while studying, I will go to TikTok, you know, uh, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but the less time you have, the more likely you are to be productive. So I was like, you know, I have to study till 6 because after that I have to either sleep, which is really important, or go to school. Since you woke up early, you feel guilty to waste your time on TikTok. You know, I'm like, oh, I spent so much energy waking up this early. No, I'm not going to go on TikTok. No, I'm not going to open Instagram because I woke up to study I put the energy to wake up this early. I have to study, I cannot waste my time on social media. And last but not least is what I mentioned earlier. When you wake up early, you have more time uh, for yourself. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. As I said earlier, um, I don't want to promote toxic productivity and I don't want you to feel bad about yourself because you don't wake up early or because you don't have the same lifestyle that I have. 
Uh, my body is trained from an early age to wake up early because my parents were so strict with um, our sleeping schedule. They never, they never let us oversleep. So I grew up being a morning person and my body was trained this way. So maybe for you it's more difficult to wake up early. Each and every one of us has their own way of studying or time management. What I do might not necessarily work for you or as I said, it might not be that right. It might be unhealthy, but that worked for me and that was how I was able to study eight languages. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you manage your time and how you manage your sleeping schedule. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, to follow me on Instagram and my other social media platforms and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you and bye!